Hello everyone, welcome to another Dr. Spotfire Quick Tips video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a JavaScript accordion for Tipco Spotfire. So here I have a sample DXP file. On the left side I have a text area with some action controls, filters or property controls that I have on the left side and maybe I have too much controls on the left side of my text area and want to save on real estate. Maybe I want to put some more information on the, at the bottom. So I'm going to turn this into this with JavaScript accordion for Tipco Spotfire. Now the same elements are available here in different categories so you can wrap them up, organize your filters, your controls and you are ready to go. So let me show you how the, this is done. All right, I'm going to duplicate this page again so I have a backup of my original file and then at the end I can just delete the original tab or just move the text area from one place to another. So here I have my Tipco community article, the uh, JavaScript accordion for Tipco Spotfire. So feel free to take a look at this. I'm going to put the link at the bottom of this video and all you have to do is Follow this structure. So I'm going to copy this structure, which is going to hold my my controls. Go back to Spotfire, and then I am going to edit this HTML and put that HTML code that I copied from my page right here. Now, if I click Save, nothing is going to happen. So go back and copy the script that I need for that accordion to be rendered properly. So I'm going to select everything here, all the JavaScript code, all the way up to here. Click Copy, go back, and create a new JavaScript, I'm going to call it accordion and I'm going to paste the contents there. When I click save and click OK, I can see now that I have this rendered properly. But maybe these are the default colors of my accordion, so maybe I want to change the color for something more suitable for my, uh, my dashboard. So I go back and I have some options right here, some themes that you can also modify. These are just some examples. And here I have one green and then here I have one that is a more uh, more like to be for the dark mode. So I'm going to select this, copy the contents, go back to my DXP, and, and I add another script. I'm going to call it accordion uh, dark.css. Paste it here, click OK, click OK, and now I have my accordion looking the way I want to. So now if you notice, the accordion opens one at a time and it will, keep, it will keep it open. I can change that setting if I go to my accordion and change the settings to not true on one of my parameters. That can be also a script parameter that can you put in case you have multiple accordions on the same page. Click OK, and now I can, when I click one of them, it's only going to open one of them at a time. Okay, now let's move the contents from here to here. So the first element I have is the axis. So on my panel, I'm going to say select axis. I'm going to move these two controls up to this panel. So where it says panel contents, I'm going to put my axis. This is placeholder for X axis and Y axis. And I'm going to put my control, I'm going to put a line break here. And then here and here, I am going to put the controls for my X and Y axis. When I click this, it's going to highlight the, the uh, control. So I'm going to cut control x paste it here the same with the next element i'm going to x and control paste now i have elements up here now you see they, they they were moved up here and now i can move my axis and this should work fine on my visualization i'm going to do price versus volume or any combination that you like let's continue with the number of clusters market cap range and pe category number of clusters number of cluster is this element right here i'm going to cut it and paste it on my next panel and call it number of clusters and you get the idea. Now I can remove everything else that I don't need and just keep the reset filters button at the bottom in case you want to reset them and it's going to be visible at all times. A little bit of a space there and, and that's it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for any other cool topics for Dr. Spotfire.